This is my basketball game script analysis output window for Huddle Sports Code. Now with this output window, you can essentially see an entire game on one screen. So you've got 90 play slots, each one of these being a play slot here. And you've got 90 of them, and then you've got another extra 30 of them if you've got more than 90 offensive or defensive positions. And each one of these 90 play slots is broken down into five different categories, or five different extra like pits of detail. So I'm just going to use number 16 here as our example. Now number 16, that's the number position that it is. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's also a toggle button that we'll get to later. The button on top here, where it says where it's purple, that's where your play will go. So for example, over here, we've got pick and roll. Here, however, here we don't have any play that was run that I've coded for. The color indicates what type of play or what type of position it was. So if we come over here to the position types, you can see in the key that light green is baseline out of bounds, pink is sideline out of bounds, blue is from an offensive rebound, dark pink is out of timeout, gold is transition, and then green is fast break. So if you look at some of these, that's a transition position. This here is a sideline out of bounds uh, position. This here one's out of timeout. This blue one here is from an offensive rebound, etc., etc. The name in the one below that here is the shot taker or the player that takes the final shot. So EJ Liddell took the final shot. Then the button to the right of that is the position result. That's self-explanatory. So you've got, you know, made two, made two point field goal, uh, missed two point field goal, made three point field goal, uh, missed three point field goal, turnover, free throws, and um, NA is positions that end in either like a timeout or gets deflected out of bounds or it's a foul, something like that. And then the line under each position slot is the quarter that that position takes place in. So if we come over here to the key again, you'll see that orange is the first quarter, green is the second quarter, blue is the third quarter, and then red is the fourth quarter. So you can see, you know, it's orange, and then around position 21 it gets green, then around position 45 it's blue, and then it gets to red. So you've got the entire game all on one screen. Now a couple of these are toggle buttons. So the number is a toggle button for the shot chart. So if I press number 76 here, I can see that walker missed a three-point shot that was off the dribble at the top of the key. Then when I click the like position result, in this case a negative three-point shot, I also get a video of that position. So another example here is a made two-point field goal by Caleb Wesson underneath the rim that was a drive. And I can now watch that position if I want to as well. Now if I press defense, I'm going to get every single opposition position. So they only had 83 positions. I can again see their shot charts if I press different numbers. I can also see their plays, what type of position it was. However, I don't get that final shot taker because we don't code for it. It just says opposition. So that's my output window for game script analysis. If you have any questions, my email is in the uh, description below. And if you want to see how this window is set up, there's also a video for that as well in the description below. This is part of my Elite Pack that if you want to purchase it, there's a link in the description below for that as well. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.